Good evening. I call this uh, county board meeting to order. This is the organizational meeting. Uh, it is December 1, 2008. The time is uh, 7.06. Um, we have a swearing in of the board members. Are we ready to do that? Mr. Sheldon. Yeah, uh, generally what we would do is have all the newly elected board members Okay. I'm gonna. What I will do is I will start out with I, and then you folks will say I, and then your name, and then I will read parts of the oath, and then you'll just repeat the portions that I say until we get to the end here. So raise your right hand, please. I. Aye. Right. Having been elected to the office of county board member in the state of Illinois, in the county of Champaign, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Illinois and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of County Board Member to the best of my ability. There you go. Congratulations. For the clerk, call the roll, please. Hammonds? Present. Anderson? Here. Beckett? Here. Benzel? Here. Betts? Here. Carter? Here. Cowart? Present. Dennett's? Here. Gladney? Present. Hunt? James? Here. Jay? Here. Jones? Here. Not? Here. Kurtz? Here. Langenheim? McGinty? Here. Mosier? Here. Nudo? Here. O'Connor? Here. Richards? Here. Rosales? Here. Sapp? Here. Schrader? Here. Smucker? Here. Wysocki? Here. Weibel? Here. We have a quorum. Seek approval of the agenda. So moved. Moved by Mr. Betts, second by Mr. Richards. Mr. Betts. Mr. Chair, what I would like to add to the agenda. I don't think there's anyone here necessarily, but after approval of the um, uh, notice, uh, a provision for public participation, if you would entertain that amendment. I will. Um, I think there needs to be a second. Pardon? I think there needs to be a Ms. second. Ms. Amon second that. Discussion? Uh, see none. All in favor of the, uh, the amended agenda? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The clerk read the notice of the meeting, please. Notice is hereby given that an organizational meeting of the County Board, Champaign County, Illinois, will convene on December 1st, 2008, 7 o'clock p.m. in the Lyle Shields Meeting Room, Brookins Administrative Center, 1776 East Washington Street, Urbana, Illinois, in said county for the purpose of swearing in county board members and conducting official business. Move adoption of the notice. Move by Mr. Betts. Second by Ms. Wysocki. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Is there any public participation? Ms. Jennifer Putnam. 
Urbana, Illinois, and the subject is congratulations. Um, I'm so happy for all of you, the new 27-member board, to be sworn into office and sit down together and at last the word politics is going to take on a meaning different from what it's meant to you for the last probably 12 months. It's no longer about yard sign patrol, getting money together for an ad, responding to candidate questionnaires, um, all the things that you do when you're a candidate. Henceforth, let politics be the art and science of government. And I hope that you will talk to one another, Democrats and Democrats, Democrats and Republicans, Republicans and Republicans and Greens and Independents and Socialists and people of no party. And I wish you a wonderful new two-year term. And for those of you who just took an oath of office for a four-year term, congratulations for that. I want to ask a, a standing apology. If I lapse into the uh, wrong form of the pronoun and start saying we when I should be saying you, it, it'll take a little while to get over that now 30-year habit. Something else I would like to suggest, uh, it doesn't have to take place tonight, I'd like you to think about changing from time to time the order of seating. Um, I was speaking to a news person about when I was in the minority and the girls or the women all sat in the back row because then the seating was Four. nine, eight, seven, it went like that and then the rows up in front were districts one and two. Well, we weren't relegated to the back row any more than anyone is relegated. With 27 people and three horseshoes, someone's got to sit in the back. Um, I think it's good to rotate the seating. Myself, I preferred sitting in the back so you can see what's going on. And I, I think it's good to get a, a different vantage point. And I'd like you to consider that um, sometime during the next two years, if not sooner. And best wishes for a wonderful term, and thank you so very much for your service. Is there any other public participation? Seeing none, we'll move on to the next item. Uh, designation of the parliamentarian for this meet, organization meeting. My, designa my designation is David DeThorne. Uh, moving on to selection of the chair. Uh, we need a motion actually to accept the nomination from the floor. Would somebody make that motion, please? I move. I so move. Mr. Uh, Betts, no. second by Mr. Mosier. All in favor? Aye. Uh, all opposed? Motion carries. I move uh, C. Pius Weibel for chair of the county board. Second. Second, second by Mr. Beckett. For the record, I accept that. Mr. Knott. We would like to, uh, I'd like to nominate Mr. Uh, Jay for Muhammad for chair. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Benzo. Mr. Mr. Jay, do you accept that nomination for the record? He does. Are there Move the nominations be closed. Second. Moved by Mr. Beckett, second by Mr. Betts to, to close the nominations. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Uh, we'll have a roll call. Uh, the, the choices are Mr. Jay or Mr. Weibel. Ammons. <laughs> Thank you. Weibel. Anderson. Uh, Weibel. Beckett. Weibel. Benzel. Jay. Betts. Weibel. Carter. Weibel. Cowart. Weibel. Dennett's. Okay. Gladney. Weibel. Hunt. Oh, I'm sorry. James. Jay. 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 Jones. Jay. Not. Jay. Kurtz. Weibel. McGinty. Weibel. Mosier. Nudo. Jay. O'Connor. Jay. Richards. Weibel. Rosales. Weibel. Sapp. Jay. Schrader. Jay. Smucker. 
Weibel. Wasaki. Weibel. 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 Would the clerk announce the results, please? Fourteen for Mr. Weibel, eleven for Mr. J. I want to make a brief statement here. I'm I'm deeply honored uh, and humbled to be your chair for the next two years again. And I look forward to working with all of you on the various aspects of the county board business. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on to selection of vice chair, Ms. Amons. Uh, I'd like to move Mr. Tom Betts for vice chair. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Rosales. Mr. Betts, do you accept? I do. As long as the chair stays healthy. <laughs> I'll try to do that. Are there other nominations? Mr. J. Mr. Greg Knott. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Jays. Mr. Knott, do you accept the nomination? Mr. Close Knott, the nomination. Move the nomination. Mr. Kurtz moves. Uh, second. Mr. Beckett uh, seconds to close the nominations. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Excuse me. Who moved and who was the second? Uh, Mr. Kurtz moved. Mr. Beckett closed. <coughs> Uh, we'll have a roll call again. The choices this time are not or bets. Roll call, please. Ammons. Bets. Anderson. Bets. Beckett. Bets. Benzel. Not. Bets. Bets. Carter. Bets. Coart. Bets. Dennett's. Gladney? Bet. James? Not. Jay? Not. Jones? Not. Not. <laughs> Kurtz? Bets. McGinty? Bets. Mosier? Not. Nudo? Not. O'Connor? Not. Richards? Bets. Rosales? Bets. Sapp? Not. Schrader? Not. Smucker? Bets. Wysocki? Bets. Weibel? Bets. Will the clerk announce the uh, results, please? 14 for Mr. Bets, 11 for Mr. Knott. Mr. Bets, congratulations. Thank you. Stay healthy. Okay, I'm moving on to the designation of the parliamentarian for the, uh, the next two years. My designation is Mr. David DeThorne. I would ask a, uh, a vote of approval from the, uh, from the board. I move unanimous consent to the appointment of David DeThorne. Moved by Mr. Betts, second by Mr. Wysocki. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations, Mr. DeThorne. Thank you, uh, No. <laughs> Uh, appointment of committee chairs. My appointments are uh, for justice, uh, Mr. Gladney. For facilities, Mr. Beckett. For policy, Mr. Betts. For finance, Mr. McGinty. For highway, Ms. Colbert. For ELUC, Ms. Wysocki. Is there a motion to approve the floor? Motion. Second. Uh, Mr. Rosales, did you move that? I'm sorry, Mr. Well, Mr. Kurtz. And second by Mr. Carter. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed? Motion carries. Uh, vice chairs. Uh, my uh, uh, apartments are uh, for justice, uh, Ms. Ms. Anderson for facilities, Mr. Richards for policy, Ms. Uh, I'm sorry, for justice, Ms. Anderson for policy, Ms. Ammons for finance, uh, Mr. Rosales for highway, Mr. Carter for ELUC, Mr. Kurtz. Move adoption. Move adoption by Mr. Betts, second by Mr. Knott? No. Oh. Second. Second by Ms. Rosales. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carries. I, I was going to make a I'm comment. Sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Knott. I'm, 
Go well, ahead. you know, I, I realize the politics behind it, but I guess I'm somewhat disappointed. A couple of years ago, the majority took a pretty bold step and and letting the minority have the vice chairships. I realize that perhaps during the 90s and beyond that the GOP didn't do such a thing. I don't know. I wasn't here. I was way be removed from this uh, nice, yeah, this nice environment. But I, I guess, you know, I, I hope it's not a, a sign of things to come of, of partisanship. Jenny and public participation, you know, encouraged us to work together, and I hope that's what we still do. You know, a lot of us shot, saw it as a shot across the bow. You can exercise your uh, strength tonight in numbers. Um, but I guess I just want to put out my disappointment. I, I know a lot of the vice chairs and the GOP work very closely with the chairs of the committees, and, and certainly I know there's still opportunity to bring agenda items for those committees. But uh, I guess I was disappointed. You know, the, the districts one through four, we represent a lot of the people in the rural areas that this is their government. I mean, in, in the cities and town or uh, villages, there's a village board or a city council that really you know, does a lot of the day-to-day -day functions that this board does for those that live out in the rural areas. So, you know, it is what it is, but I'm disappointed. But uh, I know the GOP, we're still committed to working with you to, to try to move things along, but uh, just hope it's not a sign of things to come. Thank you, Mr. Knott. Okay, moving on to the appointment of the Standing Committee members. Um, my uh, appointments are for Justice. Gladney, Anderson, Carter, Hunt, James, Noodle, Rosales, Sapp, and Smucker. For facilities, Beckett, Benzel, Covert, James, J. Richard, Sapp, Smucker, Weibel. For policy, Betts, Ammons, Gladney, Hunt, Knott, McGinty, Noodle, Schrader, Schroeder, Weibel. For finance, McGinty, Betts, Donitz, uh, Jones, Moser, O'Connor, Richards, Rosales, Wysocki. For highway, Covert, Beckett, Benzel, Carter, J. Knott, Langenheim, Kurtz, O'Connor, and Eluck. Wysocki, Ammons, Anderson, Donitz, Jones, Langenheim, Kurtz, Moser, and Schroeder. Move adoption of the appointment of the committees. Moved by Mr. Betts. Second by Ms. Ammons. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to the Special County Board Committee and Liaison Appointments. Uh, for, the, for the subcommittees, number one will be reconstituted uh, probably during January. Uh, for the Labor Committee, uh, members are Tom Betts, Brendan McGinty, Greg Knott, Steve Mosher, Sam Smucker, and Sam Smucker will be the chair. For uh, the Department of Procedure and County Board Rules Special Committee, the members are Carol Ammons, Steve Beckett, Alan Nudo. The chair is Carol Ammons. For the Strategic Planning Subcommittee, members are Tom Betts, Brendan McGinty, and Greg Knott, and the chair is um, Mr. McGinty. The liaisons for the Champagne Consortium, Weibel, Schroeder, and uh, Mr. Kurtz will be the alternate. Community Services Block Grant Board, James and Weibel, Convention Visitors Bureau, Noodle and Ammons, Developmental, Developmental Disabilities Board, Wysocki and O'Connor, the Land Resource Management Plan Steering Committee, Wysocki and Schroeder, Lincoln Exhibits Committee, Wysocki, Lincoln Heritage RC&D, Weibel, the Liquor Advisory Commission, Gladney and Schroeder, the County Board of Health, James, the Economic Development Corporation, McGinty and Knott. The Extension Services Board, Langenheim and Mosier. The Head Start Policy Board, Gladney. The Muhammad Aquifer Consortium, Langenheim, Weibel and O'Connor. The Mental Health Board, Anderson. The MLK Committee, Ammons, Nudo, Carter and Weibel. The Nursing Home Board of Directors, Anderson and Nudo. The Regional Office of Education, Weibel and McGinty. The Regional Planning Commission, Colt and Mosier, and the RPC Community Service Block Grant Loan Committee, Ms. Wysocki. Move adoption of the subcommittee and special committee appointments. Moved by Mr. Betts. Yes. Second by Mr. Kurtz. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item is review of per diem and mileage reimbursement procedures. Ms. Busey. Just wanted to uh, point out to the board members tonight that for the next two years we are paying two different per diems and they are indicated on the per diem reimbursement sheet that you sign at each meeting you attend. And because there's been some confusion about this, 
in the past we also wanted it to be clear to all board members that you receive only one per diem per day regardless of how many meetings you may attend however if you attend more than one meeting of a of the board a standing committee or subcommittee special committee that you are appointed to serve on if there is more than one meeting in one day you are entitled to receive reimbursement for mileage for each meeting so that's just for you to be aware of and then just a couple housekeeping things if I may there's a um, notebook at each of your desks tonight which has the current hard copies of our policies. They're also on the website and we keep them updated on the website, but we wanted to provide this for each of you at the beginning of this term. If you want a hard copy, please take that book with you this evening. If you prefer not to have it, please feel free to leave it and we will reuse it for new employees. And finally, um, we are in the process of ordering the fiscal year 2009 budget books. If you do want a hard copy of the 09 budget book, please contact either me or Kat Bork um, by tomorrow. Uh, we will be sending the order to the printer the following day, and we will only order for those board members who have actually requested it. The budget also is available in its entirety on the website. Uh, Mr. Nod? And just to clarify, too, I know in the past we've had confusion. The per diem only applies to county board meetings, not some of the special other uh, groups that we may be on. That's there's That's, been all those special time. appointments doesn't do not pay per diem. It's for a county board standing committee, subcommittee, or a county board special committee. Uh, Ms. Anderson, I, I just wanted to ask if these policies are online too. Yes, all the policies are online. We just thought if you wanted a hard copy just to have, okay. that that's why we were providing it. Mr. Betts. Thank you. Um, a question to Deb regarding the budget. Um, not a substantive question, but in terms of if we were to order one that's printed, what is roughly the cost per printed copy? $35.25. Okay. Mr. J. Uh, as most of you know I've been a little concerned with this per diem and mileage uh, reimbursement schedule that we're on. I really was hoping that maybe tonight we could postpone that until everybody could uh, uh, benefit equally from that. I know that we've done this two years ago and it was better times. It's not better times. It's bad times now. And in fairness to everybody, why couldn't we just defer this until everyone uh, that's on a board member would get the same salary? This is really a little absurd. Mr. Chair. Uh, well, I can. It was it was discussed at the last finance committee meeting, and unfortunately, we cannot defer it. We're stuck with it. Mr. J. I follow up. I, I I don't understand why we can't defer it. What's what's the it's mechanism the, that's the keeping the, us from it's deferring? The way the law is read. Pardon me. It's the way it's the way the statute. If you read the statute, we we cannot. We can only change it. We're not changing it. We're just deferring it, sir. Mr. Chair, to it? Uh, by Order. law, you must set the uh, the amount that elected officials will be compensated at least 180 days before their term <laughs> begins, and you cannot change that during the term. So b when the per diem was set in November 2006, it was not 180 days before those who were elected in November of 2006 began their terms, so their per diem stays at $45. You cannot change the per diem for the board members who were elected on November 4th of this year. You would have had to have done it 180 days ago to change that per diem. One last time and I quit, I promise. I'm not asking to change it, I'm asking to defer it. Ms. Ammons, I'm sorry. I just had a parliamentary procedure question on this issue. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, Mr. But Chair, can I ask? Uh, I'll ask me. For them. Okay, yes, sir. Um, the question is that this is the organizational meeting. Is this where discussion on this item should come? I'd rather not be. I agree. I agree with you. Um, well, we'll, we'll, we'll close discussion on it. We will not discuss it. Not on the and also for the benefit of the public, they they would like to know ahead of time that we're going to discuss it. So it's good that we do not discuss it in any great length. Mr. Nudo. Yes, yeah, so I wonder if Ms. Busey would uh, again uh, point out the ways that it can be returned if we so desire. Actually, Mr. Nudo, we're still working on that. I'm we're still waiting for um, 
some legal advice with regard to if a board member can elect to only accept $45 instead of $100 if that member is eligible for $100. And we cannot answer that question tonight. We will be able to answer it by December 18th. And we place it on the agenda meeting. then on the 18th. Oh. Thank you. I'm sorry. What was the, uh, he wants to know if that question could be placed on the agenda on December 18th. Uh, if, if, I, if we have a uh, something from the, if we have legal opinion, yes. Does that that makes sense. If we don't have legal opinion. I don't see why we, should, we can do that. Mr. Wild, I just want you to know that we $45 board members are going to hold back our $100 opinions until the next term. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, is there any, uh, any other, uh, are you done? Any other business? Okay, see none? We're adjourned. Um, you want to go to the other meeting right away? Now we're in the special section. Pardon? Oh, yeah.